In this tutorial we're going to show you how to use autofill in Microsoft Excel 2007. Autofill allows you to enter uh, data into a cell and then automatically generate uh, a sequence uh, based on that original information. Now the sequences or the lists can be default ones that exist within Excel already or they can be defined by you the user. For example, Excel it automatically knows about days of the week and uh, months of the year. So we'll start off by uh, looking at uh, generating a list of months. Now, first of all, you need to select the cell that contains your original piece of information. So we'll select cell that contains January here. On the bottom right hand side of the cell you'll see a small black square. Now when you roll over this square you will see your cursor change from a large white cross to a smaller black cross, like so. Now to generate automatically the rest of the sequence you need to click your left mouse button and uh, hold it down and then drag the uh, cursor down through the number of cells that you want to complete and you'll see that it, uh, Excel has automatically inserted the names of the months in order. Now you can also do this with days of the week so uh, again now you need to select the original cell that you want to start the sequence with and again when you roll over the bottom right hand corner of the cell your cursor will change to the smaller black square click the left mouse button and again just drag down through you will see that Excel displays the information that's going to put in that particular cell so you can run through and if you go a bit too far you can go back and uh, complete the sequence wherever you want to finish it. It's the same with uh, dates so again select the cell click and drag down through the uh, the sequence and also the same with times like so. These sequences or lists can be default ones such as days of the week or months of the year but you can also create your own user defined lists. In order to do this first roll over and click on the uh, office button at the top left of Microsoft Excel and then choose the Excel options button displayed here. Make sure you are in the popular tab and then choose the edit custom lists button. On the left you'll see the uh, existing predefined lists, days of the week and months of the year. In order to enter your own, own list uh, click in the list entries box and then type in uh, the series of in information you need. The, uh, you need to separate list entries by pressing enter. In this case we'll use some people's names. Once you have entered the people's names uh, or the new list entries, click add and you'll see that uh, it's added to the custom lists on the left. Click OK at the bottom and then OK again in the Excel options. Now when you go back to, uh, to your worksheet you type in the first name of your sequence. Again as before you need to roll over the bottom right hand corner of the cell that it contains so your cursor changes to the small black cross uh, once again left click and uh, drag through and you will see that the uh, or your user defined list has been inserted automatically in the cells. When working with numbers you need to define the increments in which the sequence needs, should increase. For example if you select a single number uh, you and go through the uh, autofill click and drag process you'll see that it uh, inserts, just copies the number and inserts that into the cells because you haven't defined how much the number should increase by each time. To do this you need to select two numbers in adjacent cells for example here the uh, sequence should increase by one each time 
So if we uh, click the bottom right hand corner and uh, drag down, you see that the increments increase by one each time. The increments can be any number. Uh, for example, in this sequence, it is uh, an increment of 0.1 each time. So we click and drag through, you'll see that the uh, number increases. It can be multiples of a number as well. Uh, for example, this multiples of 5. If we click and drag, we can insert the sequence uh, in multiples of 5. Autofill can also be used to automatically insert formulas into a uh, spreadsheet. As you can see here we have a, a simple spreadsheet and uh, the total revenue is generated by a simple formula multiplying the cost per item by the number sold. In this case it's cell D3 by E3. Now you can use Autofill in the usual way by clicking the bottom right hand corner with the left mouse button and dragging down to insert it into the cells that you require. As you can see the relevant total revenue has been inserted into the cells and Excel has automatically updated the formula uh, to show the new the correct information. So for example the original formula was D3 multiplied by E3 it's, auto it's updated it to uh, D4 by E4, D5 by E5 as necessary. So this can save you a lot of time.